In this quick tip tutorial we'll take a look at the scale and tile behaviour for segments used in the default input slot of an L1S generator. When working with L1S styles the default behaviour is for segments to repeat along the spline. There is however an alternative mode that will stretch a segment between sections. A section in this case being defined as an area of the path between two evenly or corner segments. Let's create a telegraph line style to illustrate this. So come over to create i2 software and Rail Clone Pro and drag out a new Rail Clone Pro object in the scene. Go to Modify, open the Style Editor and create a new linear array. Create a new segment and a new spline. Connect the spline to the spline input and pick a spline from the scene. And we'll start with the starting post here. So click on the segment node, click on object and pick it from the scene and plug this one into the start input slot. We just want to move this back so that it sits at the start of the line so we'll just change the pivot point in here on the x-axis to pivot. Let's do the same thing for the end so we'll mirror it on the x-axis so we can leave that at its default and then plug that into the end slot. Now we'll add another segment and pick these lines from the scene and for now I'll just plug this into default. It's, um, it's on the floor but if we change the Z pivot point to pivot we've already aligned it to these. So let's get in here and just have a look at the padding. As you can see here the, um, there's a bit of a gap so we'll just change the, the properties of the end pole, we'll change the right padding just to bring that back in a little and then just to fix this problem we've got here we'll just change the left padding until the line connects there too. Now we want to add the standard pole so go to a segment again add that to the scene pick this pole here and plug it into the evenly input and then we'll just go to the generator and just turn up the distance a little bit so we can see what's going on. So we can see again the padding needs some tweaking so let's just bring this in on the right hand side and then the same here roughly on the left and now we can see the problem we've got these nice sagging lines but obviously the evenly are just cutting them and if the evenly prop value gets too large then you'll find the lines start to repeat so if we make this line a little longer for instance and then change the evenly distance value you can see that the lines just repeat which is not what we're after so what we can do instead to remedy that and to make these lines stretch from one post to the other irrespective of distance is to go into the linear array settings, go to rules and change the default mode here to scale. And when you do that you can see each line will always extend to the full distance between these evenly segments. So we can narrow them down or we can spread them out. This is a useful tip anywhere where you want your default segments to scale instead of tile. As always, if you're looking for more tutorials on Rail Clone 2, please visit our tutorials page, our Vimeo and YouTube channels, or follow us on Facebook and Twitter.